Okay. What are you doing? You're messing with my OCD. <laughs> I remember back in horde mode that time. I had that oh, one, man. that one little, that one little thing out of place. It was like a full pillar, but right at the bottom there was like one of those tiny oh, little, the, the, you, those tiny little thin blocks. And like, you were just like, no, it's fine. I'm not gonna complain. And then like about ten minutes later, you were just like, why is this here? <laughs> I was just like, I told you you were gonna do this, and you were like, it's you're building like, OCD. I can't change I know. it. I'm no, sorry. it's, it's it, I mean, I had to admit, I'm pretty much the same. In horde mode, I was just like. Screw this, we're gonna we're gonna we're just yeah, gonna exactly, die if yeah. we worry about that. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. guess we get like a maybe slightly buggier version on the weekend, and then we could just say, oh, you know, this doesn't work. Oh yeah, I mean that would be good. I mean, you're not yeah. going to start let's play on it or anything. It's oh probably god, mostly no, just, you know, just uh... show off the features, play a little, ask a little bit around. Yeah, and, exactly. Um, no, it's, it's sp sp spawn in that gyrating truck or whatever it is. <laughs> the gy gy gyrating truck. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can I can just imagine just like today I can just imagine you just like greetings guys, girls and fellow gamers and welcome back <laughs> to Seven Days to Die Alpha Seventeen. So in this episode we're gonna explore the gyrated truck. <laughs> and it's gonna be totally awesome guys. Remember to hit that like button in the balls to support the channel in the series. <laughs> I can just imagine how that goes. That's gonna be awesome. So these um these pillars then that you wanna start off, do do we wanna dig the ground level first or do we wanna Um well yeah, I'm I'm literally just mapping it out like you know the circumference of yeah. Yeah. Like so, um, the circumference in a square. <laughs> <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> I guess, uh, I guess you hit your four face on that door frame a little bit harder than you thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, okay, I, I have like, yeah, 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 shut card, up. So you have to be gentle, okay. I keep getting the sympathy card for my wife, not so the, the way this works, yeah, it's like my wife, like I keep saying, I have brain damage. Okay, <laughs> I have a brain injury. Like you know, I have a concussion, and for definition, a concussion is a brain injury. Yeah, <laughs> and 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 then she says, "Dude, you hit your head. You're grand." No, no, no. It's a brain injury. Yeah. You, know? you it, it must it must be serious if you were if you were sent to hospital for it. Then you know. That... Oh no, I passed out basically. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so I I, I hit the I hit the door frame and I passed out. I was out cold for what thirty seconds or something. Yeah. And um, so yeah, so I have a concussion. But when I was saying to my wife, what is actually a concussion? Oh, it's <laughs> when your brain shakes and I said, no. But what is it? Like you're describing something with one word. You know, like how do you describe it in English? You know. Yeah, exactly. And um, so it took us a while to find it out. And it's basically just brain damage. You know. Yeah. And or brain injury or something. You know. And um, I so since then I'm playing this. And I have a brain trauma. <laughs> It's like, you know, I have it's, head trauma. Be nice to me. <laughs> you have to be nice to me. I can't. No, I can't pick up the Washington. No, I, can't the, I can't do the Washington. It's I can't bend down the head trauma. No, I, I, <laughs> unfortunately, that kind of thing with the ladies never usually works. They see right through. Nope. But yeah, it's, 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 do you it's, want another concussion? It's worth trying. It's it's always worth. <laughs> do you do you want another concussion? She says that's that's yeah. hilarious. Exactly. It's like, you know, stop winch bagging about it. You haven't given birth. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's definitely not the most painful thing. Step, stepping on a stepping on an upturned plug is is definitely oh. the most painful thing. <laughs> or, or a Lego. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah a piece of Lego. Stepping on one of those things. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I should know because I, I used to have so much Lego as a kid. Oh, yeah. I say to my wife, them, you have no idea about that type of pain. No idea. <laughs> and, she, and she's like, you've never had to birth a child. And you're just like, it's still it's like, not no, the time to step on Lego. It's a Lego piece on the toe. Yeah. <laughs> that is not something you want to experience. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I know, it was, everything was fine though. Like, you know, so yeah. they, they did all the tests and everything. It was grand. But um, yeah, I'm just glad I can make videos again. The only thing is I have a constant headache for a while. Yeah. Which is gonna be a bit of a pain, but um, is that something we can flatten or do we have to dig up? Um, no, you can. If you put frames on it, you should be able to flatten. There you go. Yeah. And on top of that, for some reason, I started getting pollen thing. Like uh, I never had hay fever or anything. Never had any sensitivity to pollen. Yeah. And I think in the last six months, I started developing that as well. So every time it gets like pollen day or something, I get headaches. <laughs> oh god. So I, I'm on medication like for that, on medication for the head, and then on medication for my stomach because the medication for my head messes with messes my stomach. Messes with your stomach, yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's that, like, what it's the that hell? time, it's like th this may cause side effects, so therefore you have to take something which causes side exactly, effects of the yeah, stuff you're trying to cure. The, me medication is so weird, isn't it? Like, <laughs> so this this bottom bit, are we having the are we having the pillars from the bottom going up, right? Um, um, is that how you want to start it, or do you want a full frame at the bottom? How how do you want this to work? Um, I'm just thinking. So if the zombies are on the outside, yeah, they can step on top of that. That's the problem. So it has yeah. to be flush with the ground. So I'm only putting the frames down as guidance where things go. Yeah. So we're not building on top of them. We're building in place of them. Okay. If you cool. know what I mean. So you want. So do you the want? The only to go thing is like. One... Yeah, don't build too close to the edge though, because I don't know exactly how big that corner that corner thing is that I want to do. Right. Okay. I I think it will be about this big and then just basically the wedges will go here yeah like on that side 
So if you start building, like, just leave one gap, like, in between, like, and then you can start the, the, the pillars if you want. So you put the pillars pretty much straight in the middle of this one. No, not there. Not there. <laughs> That's where my roundy thing is going to go. That's you where your roundy thing is going to from here, like, beside that and outwards, yeah. Um, but obviously in place of... Yeah. Okay. Place of square, How about, square. Uh, okay, I got an idea. How about you put the first pillar down? And no, just put off. it down here. Put it right down here. Just exactly there in place right of there. the wood frame. Okay, yeah. there you go. Exactly, right. there, yeah. Because underneath it later on, we're going to put more wood frames, like, you know, to... to oh, I see, just to make it whatever. flush to the floor, But we yeah. need to leave it flush, otherwise the zombies will walk on top yeah, of the okay, wood the frame top, corner, yeah. and it's just going to be a pain in the ass to kill them. Yeah, so how how many gaps do you want between the pillars? Um, I think you can just go literally right beside each other. You want the pillars right beside... Okay, like yeah, this, yeah? Because you can you can hit them. Right yep. through that, no problem, and uh, they can't walk through it, which is great. And the dogs okay. can't get through it either. And I'm just gonna leave the blocks in the corner so you can see how far out we're going. Okay. That's it. In which case, then we will uh, we'll probably need way more than 60 pillars because <laughs> this place yes. is actually quite big. Yes, um, we okay, do. so. so Let's get I don't know. More. Yeah, we upgrade them to metal. Maybe we do a couple of flagstone versions as well. We're gonna have to go on a grind, obviously, at some point. Yeah. So. Oh man, I, I can literally only get fifty-seven more. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely <laughs> we're definitely gonna be grinding forward here. <laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead and put these all along. Um, and if it, of course if I do build too far, I'd just be like, hey, idiot, and just chop it out, um, which is fine. Yeah, I mean the first, uh, it's the second horde night. It shouldn't be hopefully too bad. Oh, like, it, sh it shouldn't I, be. I don't yeah. have the blood count all the way up, like you know. So. Yeah. And, and we're probably going to have Alpha 17 before the uh, Horde Night anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Dep depends if I fall asleep and don't wake up on the night I'm meant to be recording with you. Oh, yeah. yeah that, 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 I that, didn't tell that anybody happened. that. I didn't tell That's, anybody a, that. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be honest. I fell asleep and I, I set my alarm. And then I didn't, yeah. didn't realise that instead of setting my alarm, I'd actually change the time. I think I only t told it on the Twitch stream then eventually or something that I said, yeah. yeah okay. No, I got, I, 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 I got some backlash for that. It's like, hey, you were sleeping on the job kind of thing. I was like, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I know, to. listen, like, if you're tired, you're tired. End of story. Yeah. Like, you but know, the thing is, like... like, I think as well, like, I'd, I'd probably have rather not have done it if I was that tired anyway, because I don't think it would have made yeah. the best content anyway. And, you know, I like giving, I like giving our viewers really good stuff if we can. So. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, let me see what we got here. Um, keep that. Right, um, so here we go. So these guys... Okay, yeah, I definitely think I'm going to run out of these. <laughs> okay, so I have, do you, uh, you have scrap as well, yeah. So the, the wedge tips, um, let's see how this is going to work. Um, so if I go and do those as you've done it there, then that comes to here. I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to do this, but, um... And then, right, where's the very corner here? Okay, so... The very corner is there, isn't it? One, two, yeah, three... Yeah, where I'm just digging, yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm starts... just going to try to make the... the so here we go, surface. okay. Alright, there you go. Right, that's it. That's that's the first initial layer of pillars done anyway, so that's, that's, the, that's the first ground part done. So... Yeah. How high do you want this? Like, four? Or a little bit less, a bit more. I, I don't know. Like I mean, I think I think um, if you you have to kind of I suppose if you start in front of it and, and you, you're a zombie, like you know this the zombie will always go three high. Yeah. I suppose like yeah. So I, get, I if, guess because this fight is slightly raised, you probably want it four. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go four high, well on the other side I'm gonna start digging as well. Like, okay. You know, cool. So if you ah, come on. If right. you do, if we do this here, so if we have a square block basically as the fourth block, that should be enough. Yeah, I okay, usually make them four high just in case, and then the fifth one is going to be my square one. And that will also serve at the same time as a blocker for the crawlers because they, they're, they're flush with the pillars, I think. Okay. So I don't think they can get up on the square blocks on top, but I could be wrong about that, though. I'm not 100% certain about that. All right. Well, I will, uh, I'm going to see which axe gives me more from a tree as well. Because, I like, in the last episode, we made this, um, we made this little hatchet thing. Um, yeah. I'm kind of interested to see... If that gives me much more wood from a tree than a regular stone axe wood, it's definitely slower to harvest. Um, so I'm I'm thinking it probably doesn't like. Well, it depends how much stamina. I always uh, think stamina is always the key factor. Like it's like if I give you a steel shovel, sure yes. you get more wood to hit, but if you go through your whole stamina meter, how long does it take you to get a full stamina meter again? Yeah. And then so while I can have an iron axe and never have to take a break, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
So I'm just having a look at this. So it looks like I'm getting like one to two per hit. So that's with a that's with this hatchet thing. Now with the stone axe, let me see. And how many woodlands? Oh, do I'm you have? I'm getting loads more with the stone axe. Yeah. Okay. Don't use the hatchet on the trees. Use the stone axe. <laughs> the stone yeah. axe is better than this 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 uh, lovely crafted iron hatchet. Yeah. Well, so it seems that the stone axe is, is sorry. The hatchet is falling under bladed weaponsmithing. I would assume it's very good it's at dealing damage. A, yeah, That's more it says. It's actually, yeah. very, it's actually much better for dealing damage. So I'm going to be able to get rid of my lead pipe now and use the hatchet as my melee weapon. I don't know. I, I double check though, because um, if you've been using your lead pipe, that's probably blunt weapons, right? So yeah. you might end up using uh, more stamina using your hatchet, because it does actually use quite a bit. So Oh, because I already leveled up some of my blunt weapons? Yeah, stuff. exactly. So, mm. so it's, a different, it's a different skill tree. So point, yeah. I'm You're gonna I, have to check that out, yeah. Yeah, you might want to keep with the um Okay, so for the corner here what the idea was is I, I'm playing around with a mini version of my towers. Like basically it's not gonna be a tower, but it's just something for looks really. Yeah. You know, it's, that, it's that's all it it's is. It's always nice to have something looking nice, I think. So um the idea is to have the blocks here and then half blocks with half. <laughs> God damn it! Right, how many nails do I have left? Okay, yeah, we we definitely need loads more scrap nails to make all these um to make all these frames. So I oh, will yeah. get some crafting. Right, I've got a good amount of wood from made, these. Isn't it like you, yeah. you just need some crap iron and that's it. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and then and use the uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this chipper thing and get some get some extra out of that. There we go. So let's go in here and more wood. There we go. So that gives me another like 800. We got, we still got like another thousand wood. It's definitely, definitely scrap. It's going to be our shortage today, I reckon. Um, but then again, we do have a lot of days before the horde comes anyway. So yeah. it's not like we're in, in desperate need of it, but we need to at least get the bottom row done as soon as we can. Uh, hang on, where is scrap? Is it in the? So... Ah, here we go. Right, I need to make some more scrap nails. Um, so let's go and do that. So nail. Uh, scrap nails. Go. Alright, so I guess while that's doing then, I could probably look at... Yeah, I'm probably just going to have to see if I can harvest some more stone for more iron. Because that's probably going to be our shortage at the minute. So kicks can build, I can harvest, and then we swap over. Mwahaha! And then he harvests forever, and I take over the base. I'm just trying to look at the shape of this, um, how this is going to work out. Yeah, I left a... Experimenting uh... around a little bit. Um, yeah, that's I a think three full, by blocks, three by each full one. blocks will will have to be the thing, so not half blocks. I think full blocks are gonna have to be the thing. Yeah, that works. Or half block on the outside. Okay, that makes sense. And then, all right. So yeah, I just need to level up a few as well because like I there's there's so much stuff I want to be able to do, but all of it requires me to level up and get skill points. Like for the, for example, the yeah. advanced workbench and stuff like that. I need to level up my construction tools, but then I also need to level up like three more times before I can get it. And leveling in Ravenhurst is really really slow. So it's yeah. one of one of those things. Okay, so I think we're better off actually with rams on the small scale, like which might be a bit uh, squarey looking, which is not very nice. I'm just trying to work out. I wanted to make it as round as possible, but um, the problem with the wedges is I think they need the extra space in between. Otherwise, it's just not going to work out. Yeah, you do. Need, you do need like one extra to make it. If you want to make it look a bit rounded, then yeah, you need one extra between them. Yeah. So I don't think this will work out. It looks nice on one side, but then yeah, there's that. Is that extra bit missing? So that. Mm. Um. Right. So what are we going for? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, I see what you mean. It yeah, looks good on one need... side, but then it doesn't really come together on the other side. So I think we don't have a choice. We're gonna have to. Um... You could just use, I suppose, ramps. Would yeah, work. I, I I'm suppose, gonna yeah. have to use ramps. Ramps and hold. I don't want to make it bigger than that. No, no, it does. It does no need for it to be bigger. I don't think so. Yeah, that's the thing. I definitely don't want to make it bigger because um, I want to ask to have. Uh, I don't want the zombies to be able to hide behind it, like you know, and then. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, though no, I think that's fine. Then uh, that sounds like a good plan. So wood pillar fifty. So now I can make. How many of these can I make now? I can make three hundred and three. Good. That's probably how many we're gonna need. <laughs> three hundred and three. <laughs> yeah, that's. How well, did you get that too fast? Um, I grinded a lot of wood and I made a lot of scrap nails. Oh wow. So they must be very cheap to make. 
Scrap nails are, yeah. Um, no, the the wood the wood logs. If you if you made so many. Oh yeah, pillars. because um, remember we have the wood chipper now. Um, so oh yeah, of course. Yeah. The, the I mean, we had a couple of thousand wood anyway upstairs. Yeah, so exactly. I've like got half of everything. Yeah, I've got a little bit of that. I went out and got like another whole tree's worth as well. Ah, okay. So the the wedge is nice. It, it kind of works when you have like a, a bigger circle, like you know, because the wedge kind of helps evening it out, making it more well, making it more round. Yeah. So. But yeah, it looks round enough, I suppose, in that case. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fine, regardless. Um, so you can put two more pillars on, on either side of this. Two bend. more, yeah? Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just going to put a bait. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just put it to dig underneath and dig a bait underneath here, but it's fine. It's there fine. you go. Um, so yeah, you want one there and then one over on this side yeah, here. Yeah. So it just gives it a bit of a look. Like I just didn't want to have it too bland, you know. With the no, I, um, I, I, I think it's important to make it look a little bit cool. I, yeah, th I, th so. I think I like, I like that idea. So that's cool. Um, so is this high enough, or do you want me to go one high with the pillar first and then do? Okay, the if, if the the perfect height I think on the pillars is to make them four high. One, four two, high. Three, okay, so we're currently four. three. Exactly. Currently and then, three. Yeah. Um, so, so one more than this yeah. then. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And then on the fourth, uh, after the fourth one, you put the square block on top. Okay. Um, so if so you put one more on top of that. Yeah, one more on top of this, and then the square yeah. block. Oh, we don't have it. to do it all the way around that high yet. It's just something to it, so we can see. Yeah, just so we can see. Um, so you want one more there, yeah. and then you're gonna have a square block. And then exactly, and then we're gonna the have yep. this on top of that. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, in that case, then I will go ahead and see if we can make it around here. Let me just try this. Oh god, I fell down again. Ah. <laughs> no! Don't laugh at my failure. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're just like. <laughs> right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. That's one too low. Remember? There you uh, go. All right, there we go. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, cake's not yet. So okay. what are you doing? You, you're messing with my OCD. <laughs> <laughs> I, re I remember back in horde mode that time i had that oh, one man. that one little that one little thing out of place it was like a full pillar but right at the bottom there was like one of those tiny oh, little riot, the, the, you, those riot. tiny little thin blocks and like you were just like no it's fine i'm not gonna complain and then like about 10 minutes later you were just like why is this here <laughs> i was just like i told you you were gonna do this and you were like it's you're building like, ocd i can't change I know. it I'm no sorry. it's it's it, i mean i had to admit i'm pretty much the same in horde mode i was just like screw this we're gonna we're gonna we're just yeah, gonna exactly, die if yeah. we worry about that <laughs> okay so these right, ones so can I'm come gonna, on i'm gonna finish this okay. off i'm gonna get some iron so i can upgrade the center piece fully up to to all the way iron yeah so like I'm back idea. in a second. I'm just gonna get some. Um... Right, so that's gotta be this high. Let's go and make these the maximum height we need to. Yeah. Okay, so that's now four. That's four. Okay, I'll go ahead and mark all these out. Get this started. So that one, and then this one. So the forge, yeah. I suppose what I, what we can do is I I can extract the iron out of the forge. Yeah, go for it. I mean, and then I can get new iron. Um... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be needing forged iron too much, considering we're not really making iron tools anyway, um, which is probably what I'd primarily use it for. I don't really think there's too much for use at the moment, unless you want to make like repair kits or anything, but I think that re that requires a perk as well, most likely. I'm not too sure on that, actually. I'll have to have a look at that. Okay, so I'm going to get a thousand um, iron out. Yep, that works. And um, that should be enough to upgrade all the four corners at least fully to iron, and uh, so that the zombies can't just run through them. Yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, the four corners will be absolutely fine. Uh, right, so we got two of these. Okay, I'm slowly but surely making our way around this thing. It's it's gonna be good, and then we need to figure out how we're actually gonna get in ourselves as well, right? Are we gonna have like a, a just a ramp or something that we get in? So just trying to think about how we're gonna get over. For the square floor. blocks, actually, I can use scrap frames straight away. You could do, yeah. That. I'm just thinking that for the square ones, yeah. Yeah, for squares, have, yeah. There's 20 scrap frames that I think you crafted at some point. Yeah, I think I did. It might have been. I can't remember. It's probably part of a quest or something. I think, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm just like completely vague. It's probably quite part of a quest thing. I think maybe, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 definitely maybe. Th thanks for the detail, you idiot. It was like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Zombie cult is a uh, nine millimeter round. Nice. And you're just like I started to think it wasn't me that hit my head on the door frame. <laughs> yes. Right. Oh man, these things. These these need to craft faster. I'm putting them down faster than they're crafting. 
It's so annoying when that happens. Yeah, that's annoying when you do that. Okay. Yeah, it's like, All right. Tell I'm going to let them craft for a little while. Tell you what, I'm going to go I'm gonna go chop a tree then. Fine. Let's just go and let's go do something. Well, some boulders left. Actually. Useful rather than waiting. Yeah, there's a few boulders around here. I'm going to get some, uh, get some more scrap iron from those as well. Well, I know what, but still. We can set it to our points now. What is it I needed for five points to advance? Workbench? Workbench. Oh, the yeah. workbench, yes. But that was ten points. Yeah, yeah. plus that was uh, construction 30 as well. Oh, maybe well, the construction tools? You're going to put them into I that? I can learn the sure. workbench, all right. Um, construction tools, that's right. So I might be better off actually with the stone axe then. Oh, no, I can't. You see, I'm not getting any stone. So the stone axe and wood then, I suppose. Yeah, stone axe and wood and stone pickaxe on rocks. That's pretty much what I'm using right now, and it yeah. seems to be seems to be getting me a little bit more. Yay, my skill in mining tools is down level 7! <laughs> I did so well! <laughs> There's not really a lot of iron to be, to be gotten from this, like, that's no. insane. Yeah, there's not, not much. Yeah, as I said, it's probably going to be... We'll probably have, like, the towers upgraded to iron and then maybe the bottom layer or two, but I don't think we're going to get very far. Because don't forget, before you actually get to the scrap iron layer, the wood layer has to go through its own little kind of mini iron on wood phase first. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The square is, like, scrap yeah. iron. What is, how much do you pay for scrap iron? Um, scrap I think it's 40 to upgrade a frame into a full block. Which yeah, is... A, a scrap iron frame, the base... What is it called? A oh, scrap frame. A scrap frame, yeah. <laughs> One, I couldn't find it. Yeah, that's 20. Oh, God, really? 20 metal, yeah, that's quite expensive. I mean, we had 20, so I'm going to use so some each, uh, So essentially, each block of double upgraded scraps is 100. Um, in total, then, because it's 20 for the frame, yes, yeah. 40 for the first one, then 40 for the second one. Unless he's also so, changed that as well. We might be better off as cobblestone then, because if we're gonna, we get, we getting a lot of stone from the, the stone things. Like we get a lot more stone, so making um, this is true. Flagstone upgrading them to cobblestone then might be better. Yeah. I think we're, we're, we're kind of stuck with the wood pillars now as they are. But... No, uh, I can make the blocks like out of that after the, after yeah, the scrap. Yeah, so that um... way you can just um, upgrade your... You can use the iron that I'm getting out of the forge for upgrading the pillars. Okay, that works. Well, bottom um... row first anyway. Yeah. Definitely do the bottom first and we'll go from there. All right. Okay, well, I'll try and get as much resource as I can as I go. Right, I think now I should be... I should now have enough to go ahead and finish this off, I think. Maybe. What I'll do is I'll, I'll leave just like a hole of one so that you can still get in and out for now. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to get some clay then and start making some cobblestones while I'm continuing working on the... Tower. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, right, this side is slowly but surely coming together. Yeah, because then you can make flags and then just upgrade it, hopefully. Yeah, because I have like um, 350 stone now and just need to get some. And then you realize you need a perk to make this! <laughs> don't start. Don't start. <laughs> stone. What the hell? Oh, yeah. I, I search first before you do. Is does it flagstone? Does it require no, flagstone is just okay. Okay, so, so yeah. it's just full color. Okay. This to me, man. <laughs> well, that's the thing. That's, that, it, 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 it's, it's what this mod does to you. It kind of, it just kind of makes you question everything. Yeah, you get really excited for something. It's like, oh no, I need another twenty points to unlock those perks. Yeah, and then I didn't want to get this other thing for that one pack. I need this other skill. <laughs> it's like, yeah, damn yeah. it. Which is class specific. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> the class specific ones. Don't even get me started on the class specifics. <laughs> Anyway, I started 1.1, by the way, on... Um, oh, on Fennec Mod, yeah. Fennec Mod. I mean, obviously, if Alpha 17 is literally a week away or two weeks away, like, you know, I'm not going to get much done. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, I mean... Um, I believe you've been quite uh, qu quite narcissistic in your setup. <laughs> it's not that bad. So, well, I was told that I'm not going to be doing a forge for a while, and I'm not going to be doing any drinking water for a while. Oh, you, so, can, you can do drinking water early on. Just get, um, just get charcoal from burnt trees and make water filters. 
Yeah, but you yeah, but you can't you can't boil water or something because you get like a chance of dysentery and all that. No, no. What you do is you boil water first in the campfire, which turns into impure water, and then the impure yeah. water you then filter with the water filter to turn into pure water. Oh yeah, so, but you can't do that straight away in the beginning, like so. And um, apparently, to make leather, you need like some other stuff as well. And, uh... Yeah, pretty much. You need to uh, you need to pretty much concentrate on either trying to find a working workbench to then turn any tattered strips into leather, or you can yeah. go the um, you can use vegetable oil or turpentine oil with grain alcohol or spirits. So there's a couple of ways to do it, and it's it's not as bad as people make out. It really isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I just read all in the comments because I didn't know most of the changes. I was like, yeah, no, I read about two or three, and I saw a little bit of your video when you when you started streaming, and yeah, sure, I know enough to not know anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like we can do this. They're like. We can't do this. <laughs> Alright, so let's put those. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start upgrading these uh, these bottom ones then with just wood for now and then we'll go with the iron afterwards. Alright. Actually, do we have a claw hammer anywhere? I don't know if we do. Hang on, let me claw see. Um, or I don't a wrench. have one. Hang on, let me so see. If there is one, it would be in the toolbox. Uh, tools, let me see. Uh, yeah, unless there's any of the tables has it in there. Oh, we have, a, we, we have a wrench, that'll do. That's, that's, that's two less hits than the stone axe, so that'll do. I will use this. Uh, we just can't repair it. Hang oh, on. we have a little bit of steel, actually, so we can repair it. There we go. This will get my construction tools up as well. That's true, yeah. That's the wrench. So oh, you left a little gap there for us to walk. Yeah, exactly. I just thought I'd leave a little. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd leave one of those in there just to make it easier to get through for now. There you go, right. And then don't do that one. And then these ones. Anyway, so here, I'm going to drop the scrap frames for you because you can use them then to dig underneath the pillar. Here you go. Uh, oh, you wait. can use it's between the two poles here. So you can use the scrap frames then to, uh, if you dig underneath the pillars. So one under the pillar, then a block, then a scrap flame block. Yeah. Exactly, but that cool. way I leave it all up to you with the iron, and I just use. Um, okay. What should we call it? Uh, cobblestones. So I just make flagstones. Yeah. And upgrade them. Right. I'll get these reinforced first of all, I think, and then I'll go ahead and do the next bit. Right, so these guys, come on. Okay, so um, I just took a small recording back. So um, the on my side now, the basically we decided is like um, for Max to take all the iron because it's going to take a lot of iron to upgrade everything. And I don't want to waste it on my beautification rather than on the functional stuff. So <laughs> the one that actually is protecting us, you know, is probably better to um, be using that. So I'm going to be using flagstones that I'm going to be upgrading then instead. Yeah. Which, um, yeah. Well, actually, thinking about it, is it, considering that the zombies aren't really going to trample, if we if we put iron under the pillars, right, it's probably not going to, it's not going to Oh, no, you we... don't have to do this right now. I'm just saying I leave the scrap frames to you because I don't want to waste the iron to upgrade them. Yeah. No, I'm, so what I'm, I'm thinking is, kinda... it, are we better off, if we're going to dig under these pillars to add an extra layer, are we better off using cobblestone under there as well? Because, I mean... Oh, whichever way. Yeah, I, mean, I think be cobblestone honest, like, probably were better under there. It, it, originally, iron was a good idea, I thought, but the problem with that is that in the moment, we just do not get enough raw iron yeah. from the stone blocks that we, that we hammer. And even if we do an underground mine, it, we just will get more stone than iron. So it probably makes a hell of a lot more sense to use uh, flagstone upgrading to cobblestone. Oh, I don't want to do that. Then I might just too late now. <laughs> there's like there's like this one random one that's now ironed, <laughs> which I did not mean to do. <laughs> like the the very bottom one, I just double upgrades to to wood now for the moment because yeah, the, the walk on that it doesn't matter. It's just the exploding cops. Well, I don't I don't think considering how day seven went, I don't think we'll get exploding cops on day fourteen. Yeah. I mean, day seven was very very tame. So I I say that after nearly dying on day seven, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, I was fighting the hall with a blunderbuss, you know, that's that's the thing, so. There you go, right. Construction tools now level 28, yay! But yeah, we'll get all these upgraded, and then that should allow us to fight the zombies through here. I think we could probably use the hatchet through these things as well, which might do some good damage. So 
So these guys can be upgraded. I wonder if I actually have enough wood to do all of this. I have no idea. So 15 flax and blocks and... There we go. Right, that's two. And we need... Thirty-five flux of blocks. That's what we need. I can only make thirty, so I need more clay. Now let's see how far I get with iron. I don't think I'm gonna get very yeah. far with this. I mean, if you can do the bottom, you don't have to upgrade them full. Just upgrade them one layer all the way around. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And uh, then do one layer on the next row above that, and then we can always get more. I think we're gonna go on a loot run next uh, episode anyway. Oh yeah, exactly. And, I think um, just, uh... that will definitely um, give us more iron because we're gonna scrap everything we find that's gonna be iron. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. <laughs> I think that's at that way. And that will be a lot better. And we, if we go to the building site or something like that, we should find a lot of iron stuff. Hopefully, yeah, because most of the stuff is actually just made out of iron there, so... Yeah. It sounds like a plan, Kicks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm out of iron. What, what would you do without... <laughs> have less worse plans. <laughs> you would have better plans. I would have better plans. Definitely. <laughs> no, 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 no. If, if, I, if, I, if I didn't have you, I'd have worse plans. I doubt it. <laughs> no, I don't know. Because it, I'm very slow when it comes to preparing for things. I just like to build, you know, and forget about time. And go like, oh, yeah, this is nice. And when Hortnet comes along, this is going to look awesome. Bam, 10 o'clock Hortnet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did that in War of the Walkers once. I was like, right. So, because I, I, I didn't see the day number. Because where I, where I was streaming it, like, I thought, like, because uh, in, in the War of the Walkers HUD, it's on the, up on the top left, like in the Raven yeah, yeah. one. But my, my stream app actually has a little bit that goes over that little bit when it's just, it, it's just like, just how my stream app is, unfortunately. Yeah. So I couldn't read the time. So I was thinking, oh, it's, uh, it's, day, um, it's day 41. So what we're going to do, we're going to go out tonight. So I get on my bike and I go about, I don't know, like 500 miles out away from my base <laughs> or whatever. And then all of a sudden I go into a new biome and the sky just suddenly turns red. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, crap. And literally, I'm just, I have a tungsten club and that's it. And I'm playing on insane settings as well. And the dead oh, is dead. Man. And I'm just like... Well, <laughs> let's just see if we can find some great alcohol in one let's of these see buildings. How that will go. <laughs> and just like outrun them the entire night. And it, I actually lived. On that one, I died to um, I actually died to a wandering horde in a cracker book. Like I got trapped under yeah. the stairs of a cracker book. Of all the places I could have died, I literally and it was on day 50. I survived like an entirely radiated horde with a couple of guns and stuff. And I literally got trapped. And I was like. Well, <laughs> of all the things that could I, I just me. wasted a block. I misplaced. It. Yay! Oh I no! Hate that so much. Kicks just wasted the block. It's the end of the world. It's like, and it takes so long to remove it. Oh man! <laughs> right there we go. So we're nearly. I need to with this bit, yeah. So yeah, um, in other news, all the iron is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, I didn't want to do that. Never mind. Too late. Oh well. The iron may be gone, but we'll get more. Eventually. Jax is just like, so you want a nice strong structure, do you? Hmm. Day 42 for you. <laughs> Right. Well, construction tools for me is now level 31, so... If I can just level up a few times, I can get the advanced weapon. But I just need to level up those few times in order to actually make it work. Right. Will I have enough wood to get around the edge of this? I think I might. I might. I'm, I'm, what's, the, what's the bet? What's the bet? Pardon? What's the, what's the bets that I have enough wood to get around this entire thing twice? I've done it once. I'm, I think I'm nearly around it twice. Oh, I'm sorry. If you, I, I didn't hear you there. I was doing my uh, outro. <laughs> oh, you did your outro? Okay. You did your I outro? Like, I said, I said I'm back in a second. And oh, I was, okay. I you heard that. I was like, oh. <laughs> no, I did, I, did, I, did, I did not hear that. I, I was going to say, wow. Have we Has time gone that quickly already? Damn. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh... 
Well, I might be a sneaky bloodbus ninja, but Kix is a sneaky outro ninja, because I didn't honestly know that he'd stop recording. So, it's a pretty good point to end off the episode. Be sure to check out games for Kix's channel, a link is of course in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!